Greetings fellow Vita fans, this is James with PS Vita at 2am and once again I'm coming at you with another exciting video. So, time travel. What has it taught us in life? That we would all like to go back to the days of our youth? That nostalgia is a beautiful thing? How it would be fun to be a kid again? Or how on me posting back to the future footage on this channel would instantly cause the ban hammer to come down on me from Universal? Oh yeah, I can feel their cringy claws on this video right now. So because of that I'm just gonna go ahead and resort to stock footage. Ha! Try taking it down now, Universal. I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. Don't try that. Now before I start things off, I have to give a special thank you to Adam Theory for this Patreon requested video. He asked, what are some of the best time travel PlayStation Vita games that are out there on the market? And like a genie, your wish is my command. Uh, hopefully it's not the Will Smith genie though. I don't know if that'd be such a good idea. Oh, controversy. So right now I have some great lists of games that are on the PlayStation Vita that include time travel. So let's get to it, guys. We're running out of time. <laughs> okay, big one on our list here, guys. We're starting off with the award-winning time travel visual novel Steins Gate, a fan favorite amongst many Vita fans. And with good reason, too. This game is awesome. When teenage scientists discover the ability to send messages into the past, they inadvertently set off a chain of events that alters their future. Their experiments spiral out of control as they become entangled in the conspiracy surrounding CERN, or S-E-R-N, the organization behind supposed failed time travel events. With memorable characters, outstanding art design, and a heart-wrenching narrative, Steins Gate is a critically acclaimed visual novel that can be experienced time and time again. Ooh, time and time again. Get the pun, guys? <laughs> yeah, I guess I was making that too obvious. Also note that if you enjoyed the original Steins Gate, check out its sequel, Steins Gate Zero. It takes place after the events of the first game and kind of pretty much follows the same kind of categoristic style. Woohoo, we're getting fancy with our words today. Next up we have another big one guys, Sly Cooper Thieves in Time. A very very fun stealth platforming game, which was a very early Vita release too I might add. Ah, the days when we got big releases through Crossby. I miss them so. You follow Sly and the gang, of course. As the pages of the Thievius Raccoonus have disappeared, it is now up to them to get back together and save the Cooper clan legacy from being destroyed forever. Or, you know, at least until the next entry in the game. Travel through time, meeting and playing as Sly's ancestors as you race to recover the past to save their future. Epic boss battles, high action, and new stealth moves provide the deepest and most thrilling Sly experience to date. Humorous time travel storyline and engaging puzzle. A variety of playable characters await each with their own unique playstyle. And now we have the Nonary Games. I decided to choose this game because yes it is true, we do have Virtue's Last Reward as a standalone game, however we didn't actually get 999, which was its pseudo prequel, and since the Nonary Games contains both of these titles, I'm lumping them in into the same category. And as if this segment wasn't already confusing, uh, here goes the rest of the description. Both 999 and Virtue's Last Reward, which again are on the same Vita cart, are from the same people that brought you the Danganronpa series, so you know it's gotta be good. Spike Chunsoft's the name, and Murder Mystery Games are their, uh, game. That didn't rhyme very well. Now unfortunately with this game I can't go into too much heavy detail on the plot of this because it would be major spoilers and because as you know visual novels are very heavy on their storylines. I'll just say one thing, it revolves around murder and time travel. Time travel murder. Each game, you play as a certain protagonist who is trapped unknowingly for whatever reason, and it's up to you to try and be able to escape out of your imprisonment along with other people who you may or may not be able to trust. Enjoy the engaging storyline and the fun puzzles which drove me crazy some of the time as you uncover the plot as to why you were held captive. This game definitely has time travel elements but again I'm just going to be vague on that because I don't want to spoil the plot. And if you enjoyed this game make sure to check out its third sequel, Zero Time Dilemma. It pretty much follows the exact same categoristics. There's that word again. Now on the chopping block we have Still Time. Ooh, it has time in the title. You know it's gotta be good. Or at least you know, timey. 
tiny? Still Time is a 2D puzzle platformer about time travel and temporal physics. As the protagonist discovers their powers, you learn how to control the flow of time. This unique ability will allow you to solve puzzles and to overcome obstacles that would otherwise be impossible for a single player. Platforms, boxes, sensors, lasers, all the puzzle games you are familiar with will suddenly feel new and challenging when coupled with time travel. Over 40 levels to challenge your understanding of time, a novel game mechanic that allows you to bend the rules of physics, unique aesthetics that beautifully blend pixel arts with 3D elements, a mind-bending story that spawns over time and space. Who can you trust when you can't even trust time itself? I'll just go ahead and leave it off on that note for dramatic emphasis or emphasis. Now we have a game that is probably my favorite on the list, Super Time Force Ultra, which is an action-packed platformer with a time-traveling twist. You're in control of time itself, bending and stretching it to your advantage on the battlefield. Rewind time and choose when to jump back into action, teaming up with your past selves. Heck, I team up with my past selves all the time, and people say I'm on an acid trip. In a unique single-player co-op experience, take control of up to 19 unique characters and battle across six different time periods from the long-ago past to the faraway future. So what this basically is, is have you ever played Prince of Persia, Sands of Time? It kind of is that, but it's a side-scrolling shoot-em-up game in the vein of Contra, mixing these two as well. Which I really, really gotta say I love about this game. Ooh, it's so good. If you ever have a chance to play it, definitely play it, guys. Well everyone, that concludes this video for now. So much time traveling elements, so much 100.1 gigawatts that I'm still searching for and I can't really get any more Back to the Future references otherwise, uh, uh, hashtag this company. So I'll just leave it at that. Oh wait, it's 1.21 gigawatts, isn't it? Yeah, I'll just leave that in the video for the laugh. Let me know what you guys think. Are there any time traveling Vita games that I may have missed? What titles do you recommend? Let me know down in the comments below. And as always, fellow Vita fans, thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. It really means a lot to me. Love you all, and I'll see you next time. The following video has been brought to you in part by Adam Theory, Saul Ramirez, Heston Joseph, and all these wonderfully generous people over at Patreon. I have a number of exclusive perks available for backers, so if you're interested, check that link down there. Click it, and it'll take you to our little family of patrons. Patrons? I never got that. Patreon, patrons. What's the difference? <gasps> Maybe this has something to do with time, too. Hmm. It all makes sense now.